Hi, I'm Ella Vasmati. Um, today um, the, the title is Expressionism and Modernity, Bruno Taut. Uh, I have been before in Spanish, uh, I have been talking about uh, a, pro a project of Bruno Taut, uh, but today I'm going to explain a general biography and different uh, uh, projects uh, because it's a very interesting architect, social architect, activist. Um, well, uh, um, I'm going to read before a, a sentence that uh, interests him. Uh, Bruno Taut said, We believe that the direct environment of a home is of great importance of the home itself and it can increase or reduce your well-being and comfort well um also known um also known as bruno julius florian tout is his uh, real name is an architect born in prussia on main fourth Uh, in 18, 1880, uh, Bruno Taut uh, um, uh, died uh, in 1938 with 58 years. Uh, attended to the, the Königsberg Construction School, Architecture School, until 1980. And one, and subsequently worked uh, in different architectural firms, uh, like, uh, for example, in 1902 uh, for Fabri in Wiesbaden, in 1903 for Bruno Morning uh, in Berlin, in Berlin, and between uh, 1904 and 1908 for. Theodore Fischer in Stuttgart. In uh, 1908, he received his first commission, important commission, uh, from, his, from him, uh, Turbine um, <laughs> Hall um, at uh, Weather on the Route with Frank Hoffman as a partner. Uh, in 1990, uh, no, he opened his own architectural office in which uh, his brother, that is uh, an architect too, uh, Max Taut, also worked uh, later. In 1909, a nursing home was built Uh, for the Siemens company in um, Bad Hasburg. Well, as a director of the Deutsche Gartentanzgeist, it's a name in German name that's very difficult, um, Taut also made the plans for the uh, garden a district of reform in Madenburg, but never make the garden. In 1913 and, and between 1913 and 1921. And Anne Falberg in Berlin, Grunau, 1912 and 1915, which were, however, only partially carried out. The recognition came uh, to him above all for two exhibition buildings for the Leipzig construction exhibition of 1931 uh, he built the pavilion of association of steel work and the pavilion of the German association uh, of bridge and railway factories mm, the later also calls as a monument to iron was an uh, octagonal steel a skeleton is my dog playing in this moment no after now in this moment <laughs> that was narrowing uh, towards uh, the top of his uh, four level like a telescope for the 1914 col colon uh, um, Werbund exposition very very famous with Walter Gropius, B. van der Rohe and other that exposed there uh, designed a very famous that I speak 
um, several months before last year, the glass industry pavilion with uh, down uh, made up of uh, rhomboidal section of colors glass like um, different levels like the temple of Solomon Solomon temple um, and in the in the wall are uh, right different poems uh, of the uh, uh, very famous poetry, very interesting, different color, interest, very interesting. After the war, he published uh, expressionist architecture Utopia that has been explain, uh, exposed in Spain in, uh, I'm not sure, in the um, Juan Marc uh, um, Foundation. Alpine architecture, that's it's, it's an anosopio. Uh, 1918, uh, the Stark throne, 1919, and wrote article. He wrote several books uh, and says, fight, I suppose, in Turkey. For the magazine, Fulbrick, um, he's a very good painter, too, um, on which uh, he later co edited and uh, co edited. Well, under his uh, uh, leadership, uh, the Arbeitrest für Kunst was founded in 1918 and in 1919 the crystal chain uh, circle of artists and architects whose members communicated uh, through, um, th through so-called uh, chain letters. <laughs> Curious. Well, um, in the year um, 1921 and uh, in between 1921 and 1923, Taut was a Margabu's town planning uh, architect and caused controversial discussion with his concept of Ridley color facade. Uh, well, as a director of the non-profit society Heimmaster Sparenbau Antirgels, it's a name in English, it's a German name, it's impossible for me, Antirgesselschaft from Berlin, he dealt between 1924 and 1932 on a question concerning uh, mass housing construction among the most important works of that time are the Breeze Joshua Ships uh, Housing Estate in Berlin, which he carried out between 1925 and 1930, together with Martin Wagner, very famous and very interesting architect that I have been talking uh, last year, as well as the housing estate called Uncle Tom's uh, cabin in Berlin selling for uh, between 1926 and uh, 1931. Uh, in 1936, he was appointed uh, a member of the, the Reich Architect Association. In 1927, he participated uh, in the Stuttgart Berbun exhibition. The Berbun is an um, association between a state and artist, uh, architect, and other that uh, are fighting to um, um, obtain a an, uh, ger strong Germany and competitive. Well, and he was a professor uh, in the year 1913 and 1932 at the University of Berlin, Charlottesburg. In 1933, Taut moved to Moscow um, because he was a so socialist, but he knows uh, um, for him, uh, Russia was the, more, the most important but when he knows uh, to uh, Stalin, they come back fast to German. Well, uh, change, change. Well, he eventually emigrated to Japan, where he worked at the Sendai Research Institute. And 1936 was the success, uh, not the success, success 
successor of Hans Polsig, who died. What are you doing, my dogs? Please! <laughs> who died before um, taking the post of professor at the Istanbul Fine Arts Academy. Well, thanks so much for <laughs> that's all. Thanks so much for pay attention. Um, uh, see you tomorrow. Um, bye. <laughs>